Jimmy, we're here with the K10 and K20, a later BI from Clay Packy. What's the buzz? Okay, the buzz is, look, uh, as I see it, these are sort of derived from the original Alata Wash K10 and K20, which mm -hmm. kind of are similar, but they don't have this whole lens assembly thing going on. Um, essentially, uh, 19 and 37 uh, 15 watt RGBW engines in the K10 and K20. Yep. Um, I'm gonna talk about the K20 because it's the one I looked at the specs on just before we started this. Uh, we can zoom from a very narrow four degrees out to a very wide 60 degrees. Mm. So that's a really good range. And I think, look, that really speaks of the heritage of these products where they started out as an LED wash fixture. Yeah. Color temperature from 2500 to 8000 Kelvin. Mm. So it'll match in nicely with just about any other fixture in your rig. Okay, now when you're down at those four degrees, that's when you get the much vaunted micro rays. Micro rays, yeah. yes. Uh, look, the micro ray thing is, is basically when, we, We've got uh, the scope behind every one of these lens segments. Mm. We've got this grid thing, but the grid thing on the front is fairly fine. Mm. So it, it doesn't really sort of, you know, make itself obvious until you start twisting the lens. Mm. And this then gets you into the, the realm of things like the kaleidoscope effects. Mm. And that's usable in two ways. You can use it as like something you can project through haze, mm. uh, which looks really cool. Yeah. Or if you bring your zoom back out a tiny little bit wider, which you can do before the lens twists back to its home position, mm -hmm. um, then you can focus the micro rays mm. on a surface and you can actually see those sort of flower petal opening kind mm. of effects. Mm. Um, add to that that we've got the scope on both of these fixtures if we want it to control every single yeah. LED engine individually. Yeah, now uh, with regards to that, that takes up an awful lot of DMX channels. Yes, there, and there's an, an awful e lot of time. Well, yeah, but there is an easier option. There is definitely an easier option, and Claypack, you've been really smart about this. What they've done is they've come up with a shapes mode, mm -hmm. uh, which is your, your DMX protocol, and that cuts the number of channels way down mm -hmm. uh, and makes it much faster to pull out looks. And mm -hmm. so, you know, you can pull out look like this, or like this, or like this. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and it's very fast to actually build those looks. Especially once you understand how the parameters interact with each other. Like you mm -hmm. can't twist the front lens when mm -hmm. you're zoomed out at full wide, for instance. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, and with the shapes mode, you, you can basically control the shape uh, in one color and then whatever color you're sending to the rest of the LEDs forms your background color and you can dim them individually. And, strobe and all sorts of stuff. So look, I think they've come up with a really versatile fixture here. It's mm. a good wash fixture in yeah, its yeah. own right. Um, it's bright, it's punchy, mm. but really once you once you add on all the various beam possibilities, mm -hmm. I think this is really cool. Light. Yeah, look, it's really capable of some amazingly unique and really, really fun effects. Yep, very yeah. much so. Yep, love it.